Um, about uh, yesterday, it was sad because uh, it showed uh, the impunity going on, but it was good because uh, it showed that maybe people cannot get away with this anymore. And I'm glad the Commission did a good job um, in exposing uh, all this. I can't add more fuel to the fire, but I'm just glad that um, uh, it came out and somehow exposes the loopholes in the system because um, if it wasn't for the Commission, uh, Mr. Kasasa was uh, a day away from getting paid seven billion. Then the commission halted the payment. But somehow, through our system, again, it was about to be paid 36 billion in the space of six months. But fortunately, we are able to get a court, um, a provision of, uh, actually an interim order, because the Honorable Minister ignored the provisional interim order. So there is a loophole that certain things can pass through, but thanks to the Commission, these kind of things are exposed and maybe we'll find a solution to such things because I don't think we could have gotten the best out of the, the Honorable under the current circumstances because I don't think PAC would have done a good job or even Cabinet because um, Parliament in the first place, the Auditor General in the first place reported the fraud, mm. the dubious agreement to Parliament. It didn't react. As a matter of fact, Parliament approved the paying of the seven billion in May. Mm. Under uh, what circumstances, we don't know. Mm. But all these encumbrances were there. Did Parliament do a good job? I'm not sure. But the last time I heard, there was a member of Parliament who raised it on the floor, Mpuga, and the Honorable Bahati said, we are going to investigate. Next thing we know, Honorable Minister is saying, pay 36 billion. So uh, if it wasn't for court and the commission, maybe this whole thing would be history. The man would have been paid a long time ago. So I'm just glad that uh, you know um, the commission has been able to protect the public money and also our interests and also the Vatuze's interest in Mutungo because you can imagine if they can harass the Vatuze with, and they don't have a title and they have not fully paid for the land, you can just imagine uh, what would happen if they had paid off the money because they he lied also that uh, they have installations there as you probably saw their uniports and they're living in people's houses on the suit land. So this kind of impunity has to stop. And other than the current circumstances, um, it's difficult. So I'm hoping by the end of uh, the commission, there will be an alternative to such. 